Hello happy hikers! Today we are taking you along a hike from Quinten to Ziegelbrücke. The hike actually starts in Morg where we are taking the ferry to Quinten. It doesn't take long to cross the lake but you can already enjoy the beautiful scenery. Every time I'm getting out into nature in Switzerland, the beauty of this country just stuns me. Arriving in Quinton, you can choose to enjoy a nice drink on the Lakesides Cafe or take a stroll in the vineyards. The village is small, but it offers a few beautiful houses. We make our way up the hill and start our journey towards the Zehrenbach Falls. Initially the well-developed roads give the impression of a leisurely stroll, but don't be fooled, later on the path will get quite steep and slippery. Passing these warning signs we get reminded that this is considered a mountain hike. It is marked in white red white. It also gets me curious, who would have thought to even bring a stroller onto this path? Usually there's a story behind every warning sign. The pass up is deep and in parts, especially after a rainy day, quite slippery. We prefer the direction from Quinten to Ziegelbrücke as this will have you climb those deep and slippery sections. The path down on the other side is far less steep and the paths are also better developed. Most of the uphill sections are well shaded, so this hike is even possible on a very hot day. While climbing up, don't forget to take in the view of the beautiful scenery. After passing the highest point on the route, the track becomes a lot easier.
Walking through these fields, you can smell the fragrance of wonderful herbal tea. Shortly before reaching the waterfall, we reach this beautiful resting spot. There's a series of benches and a nice picnic area. You can buy local apple juice with a shot of elderberry syrup, just perfect if you want to refuel. Isn't this just beautiful? Right around the corner from the resting spot, we catch our first glimpse onto the Serenbach Falls. You can view the fall from multiple spots. The first good spot is this bridge we are crossing on our trail. From here it isn't too far to a dedicated viewing platform which will give you a great view towards the ring source. The ring source is fueled from a series of caves and can fall dry after a hot summer. Today it's flowing nicely. From the viewing platform, take a small path that leads you up and close to the waterfall. The fall drops 600 meters, which makes it the second largest waterfall in Switzerland. The free fall of the second step, which is 305 meters in height, makes it one of the tallest free falling waterfalls in the world. If you are daring, you can take a swim in the cold pools at the bottom of the falls. If you don't want to walk the long path from Quinton, there's also a parking lot which is just 2.1 kilometers from the waterfall. So it's close by and very reachable by car as well. Mm. <laughs> Ich 
Salsa Hollywood, pero a ti va a ser. Suraga, te sé que va a calear, es Bansi, va a calear con. Ok. On way back leads along the lake, so bring your swimwear. That's just a perfect cool off after a long day of hiking. After walking through the populated area of Wesen, we reach a channel connecting the Walensee to the Obersee. The channel is the border between Canton Schwyz and St. Gallen and can be used for floating or swimming. You will even find some ladders installed along the way for the purpose. The path leads us back to Ziegelbrücke, a station we already passed on the way to the start of our day. Now, almost 30,000 steps later, we are very glad to reach the station and make our way back to Zurich. 